Hannah's got one, so I'll just go in quickly. You can see a little live bird. Just going to get it. <laughs> wait here, girl. Yeah, if you just wait there. Yeah. So we've got a nice robin here. Again, finding the way in. He's singing away. <laughs> Birds will sometimes do this. If they are being harassed by a predator, they will still carry on singing because they're trying to say, look at me, even though I'm in a rather difficult situation and about to be eaten, not in this case, of course, they, um, they'll carry on singing a little bit. I think also he's just, he's saying, what's going on here? Carefully get these strands off the feet. That's it. And then we just... Take these strands off the head, and there we have a nice robin. <laughs> so again, we're going to pop the robin into the bag, and we're going to show some of the children how we bring a robin and other birds. Okay. Right, let's move the bag. Yeah, lovely. There we go. Oh, like so here's a little one, robin. Yeah, mm -hmm. well done. No. Okay, so the first thing to do is just check there isn't already a ring on the leg of the bird, which there isn't. And then we put these little rings on. So I check with Sally, who's doing our scribing here, uh, that the next ring number's 40, ending in 49. Yep. And then what I do is before I do anything else in terms of letting the bird go or measure it, I pop the ring on. Because just in case it was to let go by accident, then at least I've got the ring on the bird. So we pop that over the leg. The clicking sounds, just the sound of the ring. Place it down again on the other side like that. And that means that the ring's nicely secured. And if this bird's ever found again, that number is unique to this particular bird. You just let it free now. Well, what we do is we just take some measurements. We look at um, perhaps how old it is, the tail, to try and age it. We kind of look at the tail. It's got a very broad tail, this one. And we can also look at the inside of the beak to see how old it might be. It's quite yellowish up there. I suspect this is probably not a... It's quite difficult to tell, actually. Is it male or female? Well, I shall tell you in a minute, actually. We can often tell by blowing away the feathers and seeing... This one's a male. So I think this one's probably going to be... Um, it's difficult to age this one. I think it's going to be four male old. So it's quite difficult to age that one. And... And if you put C because I've sexed it on its cloaca. And then we look for any muscle and how much fat it's got. Fat 15. So what we're looking for is like a, a yellowish, white, pale colour, just at the base of the chest. A muscle too. And if you can see the muscle there, and the shape of that muscle tells us it's quite flat there, but on some birds it might be quite triangular shaped and on other ones it might be quite bulging and we give it a different number depending on on what that looks like and then we measure the wing and the reason we do that is because all robins like you and I you're different you're different heights and robins often have different size wings and this helps us to learn a bit more about robins and how they live so I'm going to pop this wing carefully on the ruler just press it down a bit like that so we we read off the number so that's about... 74. Yeah, so it's just over 74. Well done. So 74 wing. Thank you very much. And then what we do, and this always looks a little bit weird to begin with. And uh, where's the little bag? There it is. Stop it flying away. Because we have to weigh them. So we pop them in this little bag. So let's pop that on there. Pop that down there. So we pop the robin in here. And this is just a nice say, a way of weighing them without them flying away. We won't sit still on the scales. Won't sit still on the scales, <laughs> that's right. It'd be very fidgety and would fly off immediately. So there we go. So, what does that one weigh? Yeah, 19... Well, it's gone back down to 19... 19.7, I'd say. 19.7 grams. So it's a very really light... Really light, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know how much this ruler weighs, actually. <coughs> look. Probably a lot lighter than that, I should think. 54 grams, so yes, a lot lighter than that ruler. <coughs> tiny, tiny little bird. So again, we have to very carefully hold it by its its leg joints. There we go. Oh, a few feathers falling off. There we go. So he's now ready to go. 
Do you want to have a quick look there? It's alright, I'm not going to... I'll let him go away from you. Give a quick look there. So you can see the little feathers all around the beak there. That's protect the eye. And they have very big eyes for the size of them. <coughs> okay. So the males and the females have the red. So the male and females both look the same, that's right. Yeah. How do you tell the difference? You can't really tell the difference very easily, but when you look under their feathers, the female at this time has a nice big bare patch of skin to keep her eggs warm. And so that's often the big, <coughs> the big clue. So we're going to let him go now. There you go. And he's off. <laughs> and so if he ever gets the idea of ringing... <laughs> have I got feathers on me, have I? <laughs> the idea of ringing is that bunch. if the bird gets found again, we can find out how old it might be, where it travels to. And some of our robins, in the winter, they go to France and Spain for the winter. So it can tell us a lot about where they go to and also how long they might live for. So that robin, you know, might be a year or two old, so it could live for maybe four or five years, particularly here at Tinsfield, because there aren't cats here and there aren't many cars around here. So they're much safer here than perhaps if it was, say, in a garden somewhere or right in the middle of Bristol. So there we go, you've seen some very own bird ring in there. And we've rung, how many birds have we ring now? Three, four, five, six, seven, about eight birds this morning. We've had some bull, birds called bullfinches, a black cap, some great tits, the robin, and also a tree creeper as well. So there we go.